this is the syllabus I was looking for. Okay. Why? Because the last six years, uh, we st I started with a very small data set, linear regression. Got it. Data transformation, feature engineering, fall down and learn which one is the best algorithm. And then started with the tabular data and then temporal aspects and then image. I was doing some NPTEL course. Okay. Uh, the National Program for Technical Education Learning. Okay, okay. Uh, so then I want to condense that and then put it as a pipeline because why the CACD is required. Got it. So a conceptual learning is uh, today what I know, uh, I may develop a more fixed model. Got it. Tomorrow the data may be changing. So that's what your conceptual. Yeah. Uh, the conceptual features change or or the data uh, change or the add-on. Yep. So these are all the things which uh, made me to uh, understand from conceptual level to till uh, the different architectures or different cloud service providers, how uh, the pipelines are aligned. So Got those it. aspects, and even you went ahead and then shared uh, the open source ports as well. So that yep. is industry relevant, uh, the industry by industry things were changing. Yeah. So even it is dynamically, but engineering industry still it was slow. I am yep. mechanical engineering. Got it. So I, I felt it took the apt one and I did not miss even a single syllabus. Yeah. So only thing is some login issues I had. Yeah. That also is yeah, I know that you have it an hundred percentage attendance, which we are really happy uh, in that way. Yes, so we'll get started. Uh, so maybe uh, first we will get started knowing more about you. Uh, maybe you can give a quick introduction. So what exactly you are doing right now? Uh, let me get some insights on that. Then I will ask a couple of questions. Uh, please go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, I'm a mechanical engineer by profession. Got it. The mechanical, ME, energy engineering. Okay. Uh, from College of Engineering, India, Anand University. Oh, okay. And I uh, placed in the Indian Space Research Organization. For four years, I worked in cryogenic rocket engine test facility. Wow. So uh, we have a scientist here. Uh, I guess this is something that is really awesome. We had an ISRO scientist, which we are, everyone is proud at. Yeah, please go ahead. I'm really excited now. I didn't know this previously. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Four years I was there in a cryogenic test facility. Okay. Uh, that was the engine which can run one, two, three a cryogenic engine with the Russian the collaboration team. So, okay. And then uh, from there I moved to General Electric, uh, John F. Wells Technology Center, Bangalore. Yep. Near uh, this wide hospital near. Okay. So I worked in uh, um, aeroderivative uh, US Navy engine. Got it, got it, got it. So that is a kind of a mechanical related software analysis. Makes sense. Keep as well, okay. Uh, then I moved to General Motors, it's an automotive domain, okay. so aerospace, aviation and automotive. So there I worked in uh, mechanical relevant aerodynamics, heat transfer, heating ventilation, air conditioning. And then I was into the management role for modeling, uh, okay, okay. Model, so the model built for car for uh, all over the globe. So okay. Then, uh, then I was involved in uh, some automation stuff for my work uh -huh. to move on to the productivity related. So okay. that is where I came to know the Python was started that time. Okay. So, okay. So by doing and exploring with the competitor analysis, I moved to uh, the team uh, got um, uh, the transformed from uh, some 70 members team when I took up and then when I handed over it is around 11. Okay. So okay. Was, uh, so then I moved to an uh, optimization. So mm -hmm. Uh, team that is okay. generally modeling analysis and after the next step will be optimization. Okay. So optimization is the core of all ML yeah. learning. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I accidentally I attended a session, but when I attended a session, it is a MIT EDX. Okay. Uh, okay. Like, like, uh, business analytics. So because at that time I was on a project management side. Okay. So. Uh, uh, at that time, I was R uh, syntax because I blindly was doing uh, click click operations. Why Makes I'm sense. doing what I was doing, so I didn't ask. Okay. And then, uh, Indian Institute of Administration Management, I am. Okay. Bangalore guys came for uh, this uh, machine learning course. Mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. volunteered through GM General Motors, uh, I have attended. Okay. That, so, that gave some base for me. Mm -hmm. uh, not a full fledged hands on. Then, I started doing some small, small work. Okay, uh, okay. Well, as a system engineer, because I'm no more as a mechanical engineer, so Got it. I can keep any project, uh, not only the data structure, even mm -hmm. an algorithmic way or data structure, whether it is a tabular mm -hmm. data or image or it is a, what kind of data I am I'm going to quantify or okay. quantitative data, regression and classification. Right now, 
I'm in the stage where the transformer model uh, oh, on okay. the looking at it. So even okay. uh, you have recently about image and NLP. Yeah. And NLP I have less hands on. Okay. Uh, only the tabular data to classify and uh, uh, the text is relevant to uh, the yeah. category of exactly. that kind of uh, So mostly I was into the mechanical engineering oriented. Uh, Got it. Uh, Got it. And machine learning, deep learning and uh, Right now, I'm a fan of this chat GPT and general okay. generative AI. Got it, got so it. Generative AI, where uh, the foundation model, Bing, Bard, so how that foundation model developed. So those things I'm just going through. I'm yep. not having a foot. Makes sense. And uh, and I I'm, I used to have some aspirations. So part of my salary used to be got spent it. for uh, master class, attending crash courses, boot camp. That is where I've seen you are at in Facebook. Makes sense. Right now I'm. I'm referring some of my friends. Oh, that's um, awesome! Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Sweta is one girl. Okay. She was interested in after playing about uh, investing. Makes sense. And seven to eleven is the only the time you need to dedicate. That's what I yeah. said. And uh, one of my team at home and he was showing interest, but because okay. of his health and mother's health, he didn't join that. But okay. he said the next master class I've seen your ad. I'm forwarding that to them. Sure, sure. So this is what about uh, I accidentally some of the courses I joined and uh, by which I used to get some good stuff. This is one of the things by which uh, I uh, in the time of doing this I got the uh, same job. Right now I'm in Bangalore. Okay. I'm moving to Chennai next week. In okay. Spain, go be it. I'm going to be a digital transformation leader. Uh, so there they in one of the interview questions they asked. Uh, Please go ahead. Yeah, the question they asked, uh, which one you prefer? Why GM is going with Azure? Okay. Why not with uh, AWS? All okay. That they asked. Okay. So somehow, I at that time I was kind of given facility we were started working. That was my answer. Okay. But that curiosity also was there when that is resolved by going through this course. Okay. And beyond that, in my expectation, the course has covered Q flow, ML flow, AR flow. These are all other kind of kind of a buzzword. Yeah. What is this? That how it is relevant? Yeah. Now, if somebody talks about they they deployed it Kubernetes and Orchestra, all that conceptually, I can able to get connected. So uh, makes sense. I'm I'm feeling empowered to take some more on the team. on uh, the digital transformation thanks for uh, adding value to me thank, thank you so you much it's uh, those kind words really uh, it's been like a honey for me thank you so much for adding that at least like uh, for uh, the next job that you applied if my course is really helpful for you that's the real value add where people are getting benefited thank you so much and i just want to ask few questions so most of the things that you have answered i just want to check uh, ask few questions the first thing is i just want to check about uh, the course curriculum that we offered Uh, so I mean, so you have seen that uh, from uh, you attended with 100 percent attendance from day one to day end. So you know that we have a uh, 13 modules. Uh, we started from uh, introduction session to ML ops. We talked about various different stages. Then we started working on each and every cloud platform, talking about DevOps, talking about pipeline building process. Then post deployment challenges, monitoring your ML models, all this stuff. So I mean, do you think that our program structure, the curriculum that we offered, is really that is something that you like? Uh, yeah, I just want to talk about. Yeah. Sir, actually, the way you covered the GitHub first, and that the comments manually how to give add and uh, yeah. comment. So that how you are connecting when we go to end to end. Yep. It is automatically it's a no code, low code kind of exactly uh, things it was doing. So yeah. I can correlate. If something introducing it new, yeah. Rather we started from the base and then moved on to the uh, the intermediate step and then moved on to the final end to end. Yeah. So I felt the content flow of the session, what you put forth, was awesome. That's. And, uh, I think the connectivity from the previous session to the next session and uh, the the subsequent sessions was uh, very relatable. I can able to connect very well. That's so awesome. That was awesome. The session content and the content flow is also very good. Yeah. The curriculum. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, and one more thing that I want to mention, it's all about our program, the teaching, uh, the teaching methodolog methodologies, all this stuff. I mean, so I mean, the first thing is, uh, so did you find this program informative? And more than that, is enjoyable. Not getting bored, not getting sleep when you are when I'm explaining this stuff, or maybe. could you able to follow the hands on because most of the things that we have done is step by step instruction whatever i build on my screen will be following on your screen so uh, so did you had a comfortability in uh, following along with me i mean so basically that so i just want to uh, hear the words from you yep yeah since uh, when i started my work 
uh, installing packages yeah. and removing packages from open source pip3 install yeah. or honda 4 install these are all the things i was aware and uh, if something goes wrong how to fix it i go downgrade upgrade these are all the things i was having some pre knowledge on uh, because uh, in our uh, mechanical engineering industry still it has not come to that stage of makes sense so we were exploring fall down and learn fall down and learn that that base was there when you are saying side by side i can able to cope up and very well follow up with you got it recently also i have sent one container that is a python code okay it's so reading that i have sent to you because i felt very bad because one of my team member okay. he attended an interview there container related problem okay. related to the ship container okay so later i realized i should have read and then sent it to you it's okay no issues uh, at the, at the end of the day uh, installing packages and versions and then uh, uh, and ha- following hands on uh, and reading the documentation so, uh, which is something i was doing uh, okay. but the very means are slim and fake that uh, right now i am very well aware so even my this pc i'm going to take it with me okay. because all the installation instructions i noted down and even our google doc was very informative got it and the only thing is that sample resume alone i have seen the two jpg files you have given that alone i have to update and send it to you once so got it got it got it yeah yeah so it is very uh, very useful i can i could be able to follow up uh, each and every steps and uh, even whatever confirmations you are asking that Makes sense. so it is really i i feel that is the question i was looking for oh that's awesome thank you for that words yeah and obviously the third question that i'm going to ask which you have answered already i mean so uh, whether the pro- you have attended the program you have taken all the sessions debugging sessions and uh, so my question is obviously uh, 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 that you have already mentioned that so i mean does our program is recommendable to our fr- the fellow friends and network that you have uh, is basically yeah uh, during course also i started because yeah. i am working with the gm Got it. Uh, north america Uh, R&D work. Yeah. Uh, even R&D is also people are good with physics, not with general things. Okay. So uh, this one, when I say I I took your uh, image, this image with Princeton one. Okay. I it. told this is the the master class uh, CACD. Okay. Uh, got it. Because today whatever we know that the range of features, some minimum to maximum, whatever known today may not be a generalized model forever because something yeah. new feature can yeah. come as a uh, and range beyond the range yep. or the new feature may come so that one i told audi some audi use case also i took yeah. because audi has installed its uh, intel uh, services makes and, sense uh, yeah with the edge locations they completely revolutionized their plan got it so i took your picture and that case study mm-hmm. and i presented it and uh, some of my team members got impressed oh wow that one day came as a came on okay and i told i am uh, i told the next class when that comes uh, i will send it to you makes sense and i started sharing some of my cloud uh, friends are got it got cloud. it like, so i have some geek who always research and they share this paracute file on the i was aware because it compresses 20 times of csv content yeah, uh, yeah. to the paracute file so these are all the things see the terminology is whatever you use most of the things i could able to relate because i have the friend circle makes and sense i suggested uh, even without uh, your feedback i started already thank you and uh, definitely they will reach you uh, yeah sure sure sure, sure 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 thank you so much and i have one final uh, question that i want to ask uh, so uh, considering that you have taken the complete program and do you have any suggestions uh, for us uh, basically maybe any suggestion any improvement that we can do like way the structure of a program or maybe where we are sharing the documents anything that uh, you can able to get a value of is there any suggestion that we can able to uh, improvise uh, so which we we will be really open for that yeah only one thing so the uh, the uh, even uh, aws azure and uh, uh, this amazon uh, 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 sorry uh, uh, gcp gcp uh, they, they have this advanced modules like gen- generative ai yeah, okay got uh, it <laughs> okay yeah. i know so that the, the language model llm yeah. these are all the things you can do some crash courses in yeah yeah, yeah. So you know one thing. So we are coming up with uh, the mm-hmm. next master class on generative AI stuff, uh, which is uh, which where it will be uh, 
especially for a data scientist, uh, ML engineers and AI engineers, where they can able to get started with generative AI and just tra trying to open the mind for what exactly generative AI can do the next stuff. So you will get updates on that definitely in the future. No issues with that. Yeah, yeah. Model, model if you can improve because whenever I hear some words, yeah. like generative AI is going to revolutionize the world. Yeah. And LLM models from different uh, big shots Got are it. on the cloud services. Uh, so they what they are doing at the back end. At least as a as a front end user, uh, if you get something. And even blockchain is also part of yep. uh, uh, this uh, uh, AWS. And even Azure also has. And quantum computing. Even quantum computing. Few yeah. ML they started talking that advanced. So those stuff if you can throw some light. Yeah, yeah, obviously, definitely, because you're talking about uh, the next uh, big techs, uh, obviously. So, yeah, definitely we will come up with uh, other programs as you're talking about. Yes, uh, and that's it pretty much. You have covered most of the stuff. And thank you so much for spending your valuable 15 minutes. I really value your time, sir. And okay. we'll be staying connected. So let's say you have taken either, in case if you've taken either advanced or advanced plus plan. Actually, I paid for basic. Okay. Got it. Let's say if you have registered for basic plan, let's say uh, due to that offers that we have, uh, just check whether it is uh, whether you have this upgrade or not. Uh, so let's say usually people who have an advanced or maybe advanced plus plan, they get twice the opportunity to take the program. So I mean, even after you completed the current batch, you can also take the next batch starting from September also. And uh, you can also utilize the technical job support that we have. So usually what we are doing, so a lot of people has been placed uh, already, considering you also mentioned that I've been placed recently uh, during the program. So a lot of people again placed uh, uh, during the program. Um, so and again, uh, the few people, uh, I mean, they have started utilizing uh, technical job support, what they have. So they share a job description. We provide insights on that job description, let's say. Uh, so basically to help them decoding it, what exactly the organization is looking forward whether your resume matches uh, the particular job description or not those kind of uh, um, insights that we give just check whether you have this upgrade or not otherwise i will let you know that uh, after this demo yes, session whether in the meantime we... or during that post i thought it is going to be a data engineering stuff so i paid for another 2000 something okay. i paid in between so i thought uh, if there is going to be any data engineering related uh, some course then i can utilize it in that amount Sure. Yeah. No issues. Yeah. It's up to you. It's not, it's not I, that's okay. If not, also, I have an advanced course I can utilize. Yeah. Yeah. So, so completely up to your decision. I'm open to, I'm open to yeah. Sure. And even I would like to look for advanced courses from you. Sure. I like it the way, uh, the methodology and the way you are making people to understand. But another thing is, only one uh, uh, thing is uh, the, the problem behind that uh, you are already explaining it. And I, I just took some time because some of the problems were not on the engineering side. So that Got was it. Where I so uh, the wine quality, all that was, I put it into relay. Got because it. Because it's a regression kind of uh, thing. Yeah. And it's uh, the solid class, class basis. Some of the stuff I, I go, I'm gone through second because of my understanding. Was Makes sense. It's not a problem. Understand. Yeah. That's why we have a debugging session. So where you can ask yeah. the questions twice and thrice again, you can try to understand. And okay. only one thing is this, uh, this Azure was having a lot of troubles on uh, the login. Yeah, on the login, yes, definitely, because uh, see, we should have uh, problems and we should able to resolve that particular problems. At the end of the day, we could able to resolve it for you. So you can see that Azure is a bit complex. That's what exactly everyone sees. We took a lot of time. We spent weekends, complete weekends itself for building pipelines, right? Yeah. So that's how it is. GCP and Amazon, uh, they look simple. <laughs> yeah, got it. Perfect. I can able to recall. Yeah. Thanks for uh, the fruitful session, sir. It's really adding value to me. Sure. I would like to look for some of the your advanced courses. Sure, sure, course. sure. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Uh, just enjoy your day. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Sorry for being late. No issues, please. Yeah, it's about uh, my uh, thing because I I need to look forward for your time, not you. That's a thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Bye. Thank yeah. you.